Joining us now is lawyer Roger Reed Miller. And if you have a legal question you would like answered, we'll show you how to contact Roger in just a bit. But first, Roger's here with one viewer's question, and it's about texting and driving. Yeah, very interesting question, Jamel. Uh, Jim of Wichita writes In December, I had a lady who was texting and not paying attention when she ran a red light and T boned my car. My insurance company said that they will pay 2000 in med bills, and then her insurance company would be responsible for my injuries and damages. I'm still off work and will be in rehab after my third surgery. Man. I'm confused as to how the insurance companies are supposed to pay. I took your advice on your show and purchased the most no-fault medical you can buy, 27500 but now I'm being told different things by different insurance companies. What is the answer? Well, first off, you're getting legal advice from an insurance company, and you need to be careful about accepting that legal advice. Uh, they may not, and generally speaking, don't always know what the appropriate law is. For example, in this case, no fault insurance is the prior priority first, meaning your own insurance company pays for your medical bills pursuant to that insurance policy first. It's a no fault insurance policy, and your no fault insurance will pay up to 27500 You don't even look at the other person's insurance policy until you're at maximum medical improvement, typically meaning when you're done with all of your medical care. Uh, secondly, th then you look at the liability threshold or the amount of insurance coverage the other person has. And in this case, you may even want to look beyond that because texting and driving uh, can be uh, or can cause a mm -hmm. punitive damages claim to be made against this other driver. Uh, so uh, it's something that you want to seriously consider. You need to get some investigation done as to what this person was doing texting and driving and make sure that you can prove that particular point. Uh, and then once you reach the maximum medical improvement, you need to understand how to settle your case. And in this case, you need to take into consideration uh, the fact that uh, she was texting and driving at the time of the accident and clearly caused uh, the uh, the accident is uh, probably 100% at fault for causing the mm -hmm. accident, and her insurance company needs to pay uh, all of your damages at that point in time, and those damages are going to need to be described by your doctor and maybe your rehab specialist. Okay. Talk to an attorney sooner or later. Absolutely, and this is a great warning for everyone not to text and drive. It can Absolutely. show what can happen. This poor guy, three surgeries. Yeah. Okay. If you have a legal question you would like Roger to address, you can email him by going to kick.com and click on Lawyer on the Line. We'll be right back.